I am Simon Laffey from Man Ray's Bass Player and we are at the Download Festival. And I'm Paul Cook from Man Ray's The Drummer and would you believe I'm also at the Download Festival? Phil and I are old friends. We were in a band called Girl before he joined Def Leppard. So we've known each other most of our lives. Uh, he was in London looking after his father who was ill about five years ago. And uh, he came to me with an idea for a band. He said, do you want to do something a little different, a little out of the box from Def Leppard? Uh, so we kicked some ideas around, it was fantastic, uh, really enjoyed it. And Phil said, wouldn't it be fantastic to get the drummer from the Sex Pistols? That's right, and he did. He uh, literally bumped into Phil. We, we uh, live in the same area in London, and uh, we literally bumped into each other in the road. He said, I've been looking for you all my life. And, um, <laughs> Have a listen to this, see what you think, and I did, and liked it, and it's, it evolved from there really, it was as simple as that, and it came together, we found out we had a lot of common ground musically, from our influences, from when we were growing up, and it all gelled together, and it come out in the melting pot of man rays, which reflects those different uh, influences. You know, we had lots of commonality in our influences, and we deliberately formed a three-piece, because it's very fluid, and you know, a classic rock combination, isn't it, a three-piece, and we wanted to bring in elements of Jimi Hendrix experience and Nirvana and the police are also huge for us as well. So, um, <laughs> sorry, it's a little bit distracting, but yeah. These you know. young band over there, you know, <laughs> these youngsters, eh? But yeah, I mean, we, we brought a lot of influences to bear and we found out that there was a lot of commonality in those influences. It gelled when we got into the studio and started playing in a live situation together because before that, it was all done kind of on home studios, wasn't it? Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And we was trying to find out a way around it and our sound we was getting a bit bogged down in the recording of it all and then, like I say it wasn't until we went in and actually done it live and banged it out in the studio that we found our way ahead really and it, that's, when, that's when it really started to gel. Okay things we've got coming up we're trying to use the gaps between the Def Leppard commitments because the Phil's very busy this year he's going out with Poison as you probably know so there is a gap in that and in between then we're hoping to do some shows in the UK and we also got uh, some recordings ready for the next album. The first album, Surreal, is out now. It's out in Universal, so please have a look for that. But we've got some songs written for the next album. We'll be working on that. And also later in the year, yeah, we're, we're hoping to do a support tour in the yeah, UK. Yeah, we've, we've got some offers coming up, and after Phil finishes with his Def Leppard commitments towards the end of the summer, we're just going to crack on all the rest of the year, hopefully, with Man Rays and do whatever we can. Really.